find this and other great figures at BigBadToyStore.com. What's going on, gang? Today we are taking a look at Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager Class Drift. Now I have already taken a look at a Drift figure, but that was a deluxe class version that transformed into the Bugatti Veyron. This is the Voyager class version, which transforms into a helicopter. Unfortunately, it's not anywhere near the helicopter that is in the movie. The helicopter he transforms to into in the movie is, I believe, a Cheyenne or a, a Cherokee, a, a very fast attack military helicopter. This figure, which is a repaint of the Dark of the Moon Skyhammer figure, transforms into a Russian Hind D. Those two helicopters are completely different. Chief differences with this figure are obviously the paint scheme, I mean that's obvious, his head, which is a brand new head, and these swords, which the figure comes with. He can hold the swords in either hand, or if you take the swords out of one hand and turn it around in the other, the swords can combine into what I would just call a giant meat cleaver. And I don't know if this ever happened in the movie. Uh, to be honest, I saw the movie and I don't remember a lot of it just because it was a Michael Bay film. It's hard to remember those things scene by scene. It's an okay combined sword. I prefer to have the sword separated. That's just a personal preference. Overall though, it's a solid robot mode. And if you liked the Skyhammer mold, which I believe has only been repainted one other time and then used in a BotCon exclusive set, I think you'll like this figure. It's a solid figure. Definitely has no problems standing or moving. It's not that top heavy. It's just an overall really good mold. The only complaint I have about the mold has to do with the feet. And that's because, well, the feet are kind of separated like this. There's not a real wide stance. And if you push these little bit of his on his shins in, the bit that forms the back of his legs has a tendency to pop off pretty easily. Other than that, this is an excellent mold, and I'm glad to see Drift getting a helicopter mode. I'm glad that they use this mold as opposed to, oh, I don't know, um, Beast Hunter's Arachnid? Ugh. The head sculpt, as you can see, continues the creepy-ass clown samurai look that Drift is so well known for. I really hate this head design. I, I just, I absolutely despise it. And it's not very good looking at all. But I have to give the mold, uh, the creators of this mold or figure credit. There's a lot of good head sculpting going on, and the paint job is actually really well done. I'm quite surprised that they were able to do such a good job with the molding and the sculpting. I also realize that this is based off of a traditional Japanese war mask and helmet. I just don't think the effect works. As you can also see, the size difference between the Deluxe class version and the Voyager class version is crazy. If you have to have one, in all honesty, just get the Voyager. If you own Skyhammer, then you will know how this transformation goes. It's a little bit on the complex side, but it is overall satisfying. To start with, unpeg the blades from the back of the figure, and that's one thing that I've always loved about this mold is that the when it's transformed correctly, the blades actually peg into the back of the figure. I love that. That tells me the designers were thinking. The overall transformation, though, is a little bit on the difficult side. Not gonna lie, it's not the easiest of transformers to transform. And that's actually kind of a good thing, but the Generations line, which is, this guy is effectively from, is for collectors. Again, I know kids are going to pick up or going to get some figures from this line, and I think this one might be a little bit too much for kids, along with Slog. I think they're very difficult transformations, and they can be very fiddly, as you can see. We're going to speed up the transformation now because I just start babbling at this point, and you really don't need to hear that. The transformation is, as I said, complex, but it is satisfying by the time you're done. It is a little bit annoying since the directions, as usual with Hasbro, don't really give you the full story. Even though they're better than they used to be, they're still hard to see, especially with these adult old man eyes that I have. Overall, the transformation, as I said, is complex, but satisfying, and everything stays together very, very well. 
I still think this is one of my favorite molds from the movie lines. This is definitely a very nice representation of a Russian attack helicopter. I like this a lot. Now, you can take the missile pods. You could put them underneath the wings, or you could put them to the sides of the engines. Normally, I leave them to the sides of the engines simply because when they're underneath the wings, it they tend to get in the way, and sometimes you have trouble with putting him on a shelf, sometimes not. It's just a personal preference, again, of mine. Now, the swords that he wields in robot mode. I have yet to find a place where you could store them. Directions don't say where you could put them, but they look like they're supposed to peg into some kind of peg holes somewhere along the fuselage. Originally, I thought, oh, well, maybe I could fit them underneath the body. Nope. Maybe I can fit them on the sides of the body. Nope. Maybe I can fit them on the sides of the wings. Nope. The swords will fit on the sides of the wings or in the ends of the wings with excessive force. They will also fit there, as you see in the picture, but you have to untransform the wings a little bit to make them fit. Overall, though, I think this is a good figure. If you like, like I said, if you like the Skyhammer mold or if you like that figure, you're going to love this. And to be honest, I think this works as, dri as a figure of drift better than the deluxe class version. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video review of Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager Class Drift. Again, he is a repaint with a new head and some new weapons, but that doesn't make him a bad figure. In fact, he, this mold is still quite excellent. So as normal, guys, I'm Bolt Matrix. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and as usual, I will catch you next time.